All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Gibbo 304 here. We got a new deal we're going to try to start doing each week here. This is the best and the worst of whichever daily race we do the most of, or a multiple of both, both or all three daily races each week. This one, pretty much, you can see there is all on Willow Springs, which is the daily race C. And it was a real good time this week. Great. Great track. I uh, started finally locking it in. Got a good strategy and got a lot of top fives. We did real good, but there was also some chaos. So we'll get right to it here, and uh, we'll, we'll do a little top five countdown. Uh, go like best to worst, best to worst, back and forth stuff. So. If you guys like the content, go ahead and give us a subscribe and thumbs up, and we'll try to start posting these once a week. And uh, we'll see how you guys like it. All right, let's get into it. We'll start off with a little bit of beat in the background. Here we go. So you can see our totals for the week. We've won four races and had 31 top fives for the race B. Go ahead and flip the banners off and let her roll here. Got some crazy physics here. I'm not sure what happens. <laughs> that that was fun. So the first first one we got a double KO in turn two here. You'll see this from all three racers' angles here. See what happens to all three cars. I even like this next view because it'll show me through the windshield of the guy and jump in the sand dunes here. And then our first best of the week will be a pretty clean race. It was just a started third and finished first. We won't have too many highlights through this one it was pretty pretty clean once it faced out and then i end up winning by pretty good margin <laughs> so on to the worst number two haste bumped and punted by og mower man He wasn't happy that we got around him here. I'm guessing. He decides he's just gonna try to take us out in this next turn, but fortunate for us, he doesn't fully get the job done. We hold on to the edge of the track and get right back around the edge over there. And this is where he's had enough of us and decides to sling in underneath of us and then run us wide and just just let us fly right off that track that happens so much on willow springs now for the best number two just Amazing finish across the line. He caught all the way up here to D ship and end up having a real good finish with him. We'll throw it up in 
a little picture in picture here just give you an inside view as well coming up Here we go, here we go, let's get around him. We're fighting on that outside corner. We're just praying that he doesn't run deep into us and throw us off the edge like the last clip. But no, we both give, he, he gives us a, you know, just enough room on the outside there and we have a nice battle down the final stretch. And I mean, it was a close finish, it was great. We loved it in the stream, we were real pumped about it. I mean, just barely nosed him. He kept get, trying to get a little bump on me, get some draft on down that side of me, but didn't work out for him. All right, now for the worst moment, number three. One of the many clips here with old Tony. Now, this one isn't entirely on him, so... But we think it's pretty funny how he he gets thrown into us. He gets the five second penalty. there and Tony tries to get him back here tries to get on the inside and uh, uh, uh well crap and see ya oh you gotta love it you gotta love it then as we continue on best moment number three it's the same race this is us after the wreck coming back fighting through the herd and trying to do as well as we can this will be the longest clip we've got in these in the top five this week there's a lot of good good clean overtakes and good good clean racing the rest of the way after that incident it was really good fun fun race Once we get ahead of seventh here, we'll actually skip ahead and there's, there's a little gap that comes. It takes me a couple minutes to catch up to old lifted there. But I'll tell you what, once I do, here we go. Exciting. There, we're on lifted's back bumper we get underneath them just a little bit here and we run a clean line as he keeps it to the outside to give us space great racing even into the hairpin turns here we're still side by side rolling through fast and we finally get ahead just barely but we take a bad angle and he gets back around on us Then as we come down around the big swooping right here, we barely get under the edge of them. Oh no, it's the next lap that we get under the edge of them. Apologies. 
because it'll skip ahead here. There it is. Now we do our best to hold on to that and as we skip ahead to the last lap, you see we were able to hold on to it pretty pretty well. I think Lifted had to pit and ended up losing ground on us there, but the guy who punched Tony still ends up in fourth place, but that's all right. We still got a top five for the race, so it turned out well. All right, as we move on, we move into the worst moment of number four, knocked around by Tony Za and Isaac. He tries to dive bomb us. He pushes us wide there. And then we kind of get in the way of other people. We apologize for that in, in race. And as we come around the corner, I'm not paying attention here to Isaac on radar. I should have. That's, that's on me there, but still sucks. And still show it on the stream. I was trying to get down underneath Tony, but didn't see Isaac. But then by the end, the same race, the best moment out of that is we come back, even though we were losing ground, and we still get us a, a podium. It was a great race. Another one. Force was catching us the whole time, too. It was good. All right, as we move into moments four. Oh no, we're all ready to fight. Tony misses us in this and tries to take out first and doesn't do a very good job either. We already at this time kind of was aware of how dirty he was. This is like the fourth or fifth race in a row that he was just being dirty, just not giving people room, pushing into people. Almost gets himself wrecked there. It's not a very good good clean driver he likes to push people around but as we skip ahead even though he does all that stuff you see old tony ran that engine a little hot and he burned up a lot of fuel so on lap 12 he had to pit and we get first back here and then you know with our strategy we come into the pit here on lap 15 at the end of the race and as we come out, we go ahead and skip to the end of the lap. You'll notice we had all the time in the world. Even on hard. Nobody in sight. As the camera flips around, you will see him back here, but he's quite a bit off. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those videos we're like i said we're gonna try to do those every week from here on out if we get a big uh following on those and we'll try to make sure we get better and better at them but hope everybody enjoyed it if uh you like content like this or you want to check out any of our live streams we have the schedule in our banner and in our descriptions when i am typically on live streaming you guys can check us out every day throughout the week pretty much on the daily races uh, fridays and saturdays we do host custom lobbies and keep top 25 leaderboard of the winners in there which will be resetting here in the end of march and that'll be the end of the first quarter of races so you can always uh you know hit the subscribe turn that bell on crap and give me a thumbs up all that nonsense and that way you guys get our video out to more people i appreciate all the support i hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time thank y'all